Well, would you look at that? That's the perfect visual treat. If you want to taste the same wonderful and fluffy ice cream, stay until the end of the video and get to know the secret of this ice cream and where to find the delicious recipe. Well, hello my dear viewers. Welcome to the Brainiac. And today, we're gonna focus on X-rays and radioactivity. What do you know about X-rays and radioactivity? Pause the video and think. So let us go into the video to check whether your guesses were correct. If you had seen my video on Moseley's experiment on the discovery of the atomic number, there I have mentioned a thing about X-rays. So we have already been introduced to an X-ray. So as a recap, we'll see what an X-ray means. X-rays are accelerated cathode rays which was sent to a metal anode. The anode starts to emit another type of unknown rays known as the X-rays. X-rays is a type of radiation. Consider the following diagram for more clarity. So, as mentioned in this diagram, whenever when a cathode ray, I mean an accelerated cathode ray, come in contact with a metal anode, they reflect back. But when they reflect back, they are not the same cathode ray anymore. Instead, a new form of radiation known as the X-rays are formed. This was an unknown type of radiation. Therefore, the name X-rays was given because we use X as a common letter for unknown terms in algebra. So, the scientist who was honored as the first person who observed the X-rays was Ronjan. I already mentioned that in my previous video. We saw how X-rays were formed and the diagram of the X-ray formation. Now let us talk about the properties of X-rays. The first property of an X-ray is that they don't have a mass or a charge. So, if a ray which has no mass or charge, what gets clinked in your mind? Does it say radiation? Does it say magnetic? Does it say electro? Or does it combine all three words saying electromagnetic radiation? So therefore, X-ray is an electromagnetic radiation because it does not have a mass or a charge. The second property of an X-ray is X-rays do not deflect in electric or magnetic fields. The third property of an X-ray is, is that X-rays have higher or greater penetration power. However, it cannot go through bones or crystals or hard metals. Consider if a man, if an X-ray falls on, it, on his arm, it can only go through the skin, but it never penetrates through the bone. Even though X-rays have higher penetration powers, it cannot go through bones, crystals or hard metals. So the fourth most important property is that whenever X-rays travel through a medium, they start ionizing the particles in that medium. So consider this hydrogen atom. So if an X-ray passes through this, it ionizes the hydrogen atom, resulting the rays of two H plus ions. So we saw what an X-ray is and the major properties of an X-ray. So let us go into the next topic, radioactivity. So welcome to the second part of the video, radioactivity. So what is radioactivity? Spontaneous emission of radiation by unstable substances containing unstable nuclei. Remember, for a particle to be radioactive, it should be unstable and it should contain 
and unstable nuclei. So, that was the definition for radioactivity. For a material to be radioactive, it should be unstable and unstable nuclei. So, the second major point factor is we honor different scientists for discoveries of different phenomena. So, the scientist who first observed radioactivity is Henry Becquerel. And sometimes, radioactivity or radiate, radiated rays are also known as Becquerel rays, named after him. For an item to be radioactive, it should be unstable. So, if an unstable particle releases radiation, it's a pro always a process of stabilization. Therefore, the stabilization process is always thermodynamically exothermic. Whoa! What is that thermodynamically exothermic? That seems to be two different long words. Let me explain that. So, consider a man who is too much fat. Uh, I am fat, but not too much fat. So, let's have him. With the, uh, yeah, the belly like that. It's not a pregnant lady, it's a man with a huge belly. So, for him to lose weight, he has to do some exercises. So, when he does exercises, he releases energy. But energy in the sense, he releases fat. Or, if you take it in fitness language, burning calories, radiation, is same but happens in two different spheres. So, if you take a radioactive element, it's, it is similar to this fat guy. So, this guy is fat and want to be thin like me being in the future. Same as that, this compound which is unstable wants to become stable, like all unstable atoms does. To achieve the stable state, it does some exercises as a fat filler does, but it releases radiation instead of calories and then it becomes stable like the thin guy who am I going to be in a few years so so if a reaction releases energy it is always exothermic before the name radiation was given the name which was given to these rays were Becquerel rays as the real person who gave the name radioactivity is great scientist Marie Curie. That's it for today's guys. In tomorrow's videos, we are going to see the types of radiation and comparison between alpha, beta and gamma. So do not forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification icon near the subscribe icon. And also do not forget to subscribe to our sponsors Fun Dedication. Cooking is fun. Check out their latest video as I mentioned in the end of the video. Well, my dear viewers, it's time for me to keep my promise which I made earlier. So this week on Fun Fitty Kitchen, we're making a delicious homemade ice cream, popsicle version and a cup version. For you to view this video, I'm leaving the link in the description. Go see it and you can also try this at your home. And this is so simple, so delicious, so fluffy and so soft that you would love to make it immediately in your home. Share this video too with your friends, family and relatives and help us to grow more on YouTube. With your support, we can reach to higher, higher heights. So thank you for watching the video again and bye for now.